Oh, okay, guys. So, so today, today we're gonna we're gonna be be using this wood, this 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 wood, and we're gonna we gonna um make make a ballista. Let's see how that turns out. Q intro. Bo, 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 bo. So a while ago, I made a um portable homemade trebuchet because. As we all know, they're this pure seed weapon. And long story short, they just were big triangles that folded out like this. And then I got a big trebuchet arm right like this and put some weight in the weight in a bag and But today what we're doing is we're gonna turn this into a ballista. So ballistas basically work like this. They're basically giant crossbows that use tension from things usually like, what's it called, string, that basically, when you pull the uh, armors back, it pulls the tension, and it shoots a bolt, basically. So that's what we're going to be doing today. That makes sense, right? Hopefully it does. We'll find out. So, guys, basically, because I'm too lazy to go get some new wood, and because this is horribly made, and yeah, that's really it. I'm just gonna spend the rest of my time taking this apart. I hope you enjoy it. So now that that's done, what we have to do is actually design our ballista. As you've seen earlier, I've done a quick sketch, and I totally, I honestly don't know, really know what I'm doing, and I'm just gonna find this out as we go. Let's just hope this works, really. So I've lined up all the wood to know what we're dealing with, and I'll find out a way to deal with this. Here's my basic design so far. We have these three pieces of making up the rails, and then there's going to be those two for the bar for the um supports for the bars, and then those two I guess would be my bars. And now all we got to do is put them together. So now I guess I'm just going to use some trusty old wood glue, and we're going to clamp these together and see how that turns out. We'll be, by the way, we'll be cutting these later, so yeah. While whatever we let that was dry, what we're going to do today is measure out an arbitrary, a completely arbitrary number of this thing. Like, I just want to make them equal. So I think I'm going to take one of these and cut them in half. That seems about reasonable, right? Let's see. Let's measure how long it is. Yeah, four feet. Four feet is like this, so two feet on each side. Wait, are these the same length? Because if they are, then we... No, I think we should just leave them. Yeah. The next thing we're going to do is also, I forgot I had another piece of wood, so... I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use this instead. Uh, we want the two bars to be a little bit further away than right next to each other. So what I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna cut out another arbitrary length of these just to separate them. And then I'm also going to separate, cut out another one, four, 
four bars in total, two bars, two small bars, about five or so inches, and then I'll cut some more, pl five plus the length of those, just so that we have extra support for our things. Okay, so I just finished cutting all these and they're going to basically act as support beams so that our things can stay apart. When you cut things, you might just want to, you know, open up the door. Also, we need string. Well, rope. Lots of it. Because ballistas use rope to store tension in the arms. And that's one of the most important parts of it. So. Let's go do that. So, once you've chosen a piece of wood that you wanna, that you're gonna use for like your bar things, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna measure out the length, and then we are going to cut along the halfway mark. Well, for, so that like the halfway point is, it creates two bars, which we're gonna use for the. You know what? You'll see. You'll 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 see. Yeah. If if you get it, you get it. You'll see. Okay. So. Now what we're going to do, I, uh, that that is done, I just cut them into two. There, I'm going to take this and I'm going to drill a hole right through the middle, well through the end of one of them, actually through the end of both of them, so that there's some place for like the string of the bow to go through. The, I'm using a small one just for a starting hole and then I will gradually go up from there. Teamwork. Okay, now I have a bigger saw, a bigger drill bit, and we're just going to use this one just to get a bigger hole through. You should use anything else besides this, but I got this for cheap at a yard sale, as I did for most of my tools, and that's what so I'm going to use it for this. So eventually I got this rope through, uh, I uh, cut it and cut the tip off and re burned the tip. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place through both them, knotting the one end so that like, like a sewing needle so it doesn't come out. And, or rather, I actually melted this end so it's too big to come out. So what we're gonna do next is make sure it fits through both of them. And it doesn't really matter the size of it now, you just want it to be as long, fairly long uh, longer than you, whatever you want to make your ballista. And all that you really want to do is, I'm just pushing it in and twisting it to make sure that it eventually goes through. And with that, we're just about ready for piecing everything together. Also, once you get it through, you just want to take it and knot it so that it won't come undone once you're, uh, when it pulls. I made this the hole very small so I don't have to knot it as much so that I just can't pull it out and if it does it will pull it tighter. Same for this end, uh, but the other end 
we don't have to do it right now because we're going to end up redoing it later. So I just want to leave it undone for now. So what I'm going to do now is basically take a file, make a small indent on here and here. Both sides of each piece of wood at both ends is what we want to do because that's what we're going to use to hold the string in place, or the hold the rope in place. Okay, I, so guys, I marked out on the points about the, um, I marked out the points against the, what we have so far of our, like, rail, or whatever it's called, barrel, and so my plan so far is to basically take these two, put the, put these two, take them, put them at the end, and then I have the two shorter ones in the middle, and then hopefully that will work. Let's just see. So, uh, here's what I'm left with. Uh, I, I put two nails in each thing. I'm gonna place this on top of that. And I also tied these things, each end of the rope together to create two smaller ropes. And well, rather, I have two smaller things, which are both tied. So then, let's see what we do with that next. So, what I did right now is I lined these two pieces up to make sure that everything's lined up. I have the back of the, um, the, you know, arm ready thing. The, the shit, was, I don't even know what it's called. But I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna nail it in. And I left a little space there for it to go. It's kind of upside down right now. But I'm just gonna nail it in, and I'll show you what happens next. Okay, so I nailed that boy in there. So now he's in there good, and I'm gonna... Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place this one on top. He's going to go right there so that those two pegs line up in the middle and these two uh, pillars are on the side with extra space in the end where we're going to eventually end up putting the rope. So here's what we got right now. Uh, those two in the middle are a little bit floating. I don't know if you can see that. But however, so far what we're going to do right now before we fix that is we're going to put the strings on. The ropes? Yeah. You'll see. So I put the rope on just straight and what I'm doing right now is I'm bending it through like this to create tension in the rope. And when it gets to that certain point, I just push it through the other end and then I continue pushing. So I got the one done and now we're just gonna do this to the other thing and it's gonna go like this, like. So now that we got those two strung on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the string through the second one of them. I actually took it off. I took the string off the one so that I could put the other one on. And then what we're going to do now is put it through, and then after that we're going to secure those, and we'll be just about done. I tied a knot on the end of this so that we can retention it for later, and then now all we got to do is get to back to those boys, and we'll be done. Um, I couldn't think of a fancy way to like get to do those without gluing it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through that way, and I'm going to put a nail through it, rather through the front this way. And I'm gonna put a nail through that on each end. I uh, just drilled two holes, one on each one on each pillar, at like a 45 degree angle, like this. And now what we're gonna do is just place the nails in and get ourselves hitting. Whoop whoop. So that's done now. Uh, and I put uh, four layers of cardboard under this one and one layer of cardboard under that one, just so that they would stay still while I nailed them in. And keep in mind, this project, as you probably assume by now, I've doing it super quickly just because why the heck not it's done really poorly i would highly recommend when if you do this i'm not liable for anything and as well you should probably measure everything so it's all even and proportional and all that so guys um i'm just gonna use this block of two by four right there and i'm gonna try shooting at this uh trash can trash bag yeah um you could add a triggering mechanism in the back here usually they had a like a sprocketed gear system which you would just use to wind it back up but this is small enough and safe this is small enough just to pull back with their hands and let go of it so let's see how that works ready set Okay, that was a bad fire, but that should work much better if we have when we have a lighter and more round bolt. But that worked for now. Let's just we can work with that. 
Uh, but either way, I don't know if I'm going to end the video here, but if I do decide to, um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe it, because I attribute myself worth to it, and I know it's a bad practice, but it would really make me happy if you were to subscribe right now. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned for more of my... whatever the heck I call this.